Almost everybody's here. Even the man with the camera is here. Little babies are here. The unions are here. The soldiers are here. We know the police are here. That's a given. Everybody is here. <laughs> I'm gonna occupy my capital and I'm gonna shut it down. I'm gonna occupy Olympia, cause this is my hometown. I'm gonna occupy the capital. I'm gonna shut it down. I'm gonna occupy Seattle, cause this is my hometown. I'm occupying. No, I ain't lying. We ain't gonna quit until the quitting is done. We ain't gonna quit until we've got it. Right back in our hand, cause we're occupying everything, you understand? That's right. So come on, gather around. Look at the size of this man. We got the corporation man there dancing around with his crown on his head. Uh -huh. Occupy Tacoma is here. Oh! We stopped the coffee strong on the way up. That's Occupy Fort Lewis. <laughs> Occupy Forks is here. That's what I'm talking about. We're getting down to the working class. That's right. That's what this is all made of. Yeah. I don't know what's going to go on now, but I got a feeling that something's going to happen. So I'm going to probably just get down to my guitar. It's good to see everybody show up here like that. Right in the middle of a song. You know you can't go wrong when you're singing a song like that. Stop the war on working people. At home and abroad, occupy your neighborhood. Sisters organized for survival. Yeah. Wall Street did this. Make them pay. That's what I'm talking about. DC, listen to me. I brought you into the world and I can take you out. Yeah, that's a good one. That's what I'm talking about. I can take you out. Occupy everything. Bankers lied. Economy died. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about too. Jobs not cut. Well, I think my time is just about spent. I'm going to get down. I'm in Jim Page and I'm on the percent Um, have you seen Brittany? Word. Ninety nine percent. Get rallied up, people. Occupy Olympia. Ow! It is good to be back at Olympia. For the past 15 years, I have been educating and organizing in communities across the country, helping people to feel think differently than most of us are used to Can thinking it? about what a corporation is. Who we the people are, and what the proper constitutional relationship is between we the people and our corporate creation. I've been leading two hour workshops for the past weeks at Occupy Portland, Occupy Eugene, and just yesterday here at Occupy Olympia. And the folks who are attending my workshops leave here feeling more empowered and excited and energized than they have in a long time. For you see, there's actually some very exciting news about local communities there's so many people here now. corporate constitutional rights, and I'm going to tell you about it. We in the activist community are used to fighting one corporate atrocity at a time, year after year after year. One corporate clear cut at a time, one bank foreclosure at a time, one health insurance refusal to treat someone at a time. One closure of a factory at a time, over and over. We don't tend to see these as the same issue, and our campaigns are very rarely connected. Battling different corporate activities, end of story, that's how we organize. More often than not, we end up losing these battles. Even when we win, usually we've only brought the project to a halt temporarily which forces the corporate lawyers and planners to work a bit harder to circumvent our opposition. And then they prevail ultimately and the project goes through. This is generally our record as activists. We worked tirelessly year after year, only worked a little harder, or had built better community support, or raised more money to pay lawyers or other experts, or had knocked on more doors or collected more hey, where's money. The black <laughs> we would the black have black more chance of winning. <laughs> What do we not do after we yeah, run off one struggle against corporate I just pulled them together. What we do well, not do is this. Out. We do not tend to ask ourselves if there are other strategies that might have been more effective. Troy, 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 Tro
We do not tend to ask Guys, ourselves why the regulatory agencies always end up saying yes to these corporate plans and what we the people want. We do not ask ourselves why do we keep pleading with elected and appointed government officials rather than exercising you have a lighter? constitutionally Are we a lighter? No. No. Put it in your pocket. To make the decisions for us. About 12 years ago, and this is the exciting part of my talk. About 12 years ago, rural asking themselves these very questions. They started doing research to try to figure out why it was they simply could not say no to a 14,000 head hog farm factory that was being planned for their community. You and can't, no one you in can't the town wanted it, it, and yet they I'm not couldn't giving it say up. no. But we need one more person. All they were allowed yeah, to do yeah, was leave with the oh, regulatory okay. officials. Okay, guys, well, do you have a no business suit? Power to say not no. that okay. I'm wearing. They started okay. their on a different day. And they, can see you. they couldn't say no because factory farm corporations had one like more a business corporate constitutional rights than they have. The this corporations have been worse. winning one corp constitutional going right to slay after the bull. Well, one another. One of them's going to die. One of them's going to slay the, the bull. And they were pissed about this. Like, the bull's going to be slain, and then we're going to throw out the bull. And they're going to just, like, take off your coat after you get cut free. And they're like, ugh. Wanted to. I have a tank top on here. The people around the bull, well, the people with the signs, education, health care, and all that, and have the bull run them over so that everyone's mad at the bull right then for cutting off. Like stomping you know, over all those stuff that's just the human rights, and then we're going to um, come together and we're going to start fighting the bull. Maybe some dies. The bull. I'm not sure. Mining, corporate logging, corporate dumping of urban oh, there he is. sludge on I Think they're bringing it up. and corporate groundwater extraction to sell in little plastic bottles. Yeah, talking like right when we got that. Every single one of these local ordinances strips away corporate so-called constitutional rights, which are at the root of why corporations are so powerful. So, hey, how are you doing? Yeah. <laughs>